Hello! Okay, so today we've got some really badly named components over here. You can see, I mean, I've worked on a project where, you know, you know, folks have just put whatever, right? So, cat ran over my keyboard sort of names, right? Um, maybe they have folders, maybe when you create your variants it has like, you know, some semblance of logic. But let's say we've got these, right? Combine as variants, and now you've got this property one, and it just tells you all the names within this property one. So whatever your names were for your components, and these need to be actual components, not children. Children look like that, not like this, right? You want to make these completely out of components, master components, right? Combine as variant, and you're going to get this property called variant one. We're going to change this. We're going to, the first obvious thing is there's black ones and there's white ones, right? So we're going to say that this is going to be color and uh, we're going to go into each one and we're going to name some of them. So let's select all the black ones and this one is black. Select all the white ones and say the color is white. Right. Next thing you might notice about these is there are ones with radio buttons and ones without radio buttons. So to do this, we're going to need a new property. So that property is going to be called with radio question mark maybe this isn't the best way of naming things but i like it i think it's cool um so we're going to say it, these ones are with radio they are with radio so we can say it's true yes or on true yes or on you'll see why but those three keywords true false yes no on off those three keywords are going to give you a very special kind of option. Let me show you what that is. So with radio, it's going to be a yes. Yes. If I can spell yes, um, with radio, uh, no, no, not with radio. And, uh, cool. Then the last thing that we need a property for is, um, status of the radio. So radio status. Am I being character consistent? There we go. Cool. And by default, what is this? It's going to be radio status is typically no, but it can be yes, right? So by default, it's no. But for these two, it's going to be yes. All right. Fantastic. Now we have this component. This component is going to be called button. And we're going to delete that. And we're going to go to our assets and we're going to drag that in. All right. So that's the thing I just deleted. Why did I do that? Anyway, on the right hand side here, you've got black and white. So you could, in theory, rename this to yes or no. So we could we could rename let's select this thing. We could rename this. Is it black? Oh, I could spell anything. Thank God. All right. Is it black? These ones I can say yes. Yes, it is black. These ones I could say white. Uh, no, no, white is not black. All right, cool. Then we go back and it's like, oh, look, is it black? No. With radio? No. Uh, radio status? If you change radio status, it's going to change with radio. And that's a much nicer way of dealing with your variants uh, because, I mean, these little switches much easier. It's like you're, ask, you're answering a multiple choice question, right? The drop downs work for much more complicated things, but for a lot of your variants, you're just going to need these little these little switches. Hello, hello. How fun is that? And that is the nicest way to make variants very quickly. And I hope you have a lot of success with it. Cheers.